All right. All right. So uh, if you guys watched me play last time, uh, I got as far as the fear uh, before uh, I had to wrap up my stream. Uh, so that's where we're continuing on. I uh, just beating the fear. So let's pick up his costume. Yoink. All right. God, I'm still so impressed by the uh, frame rate of this game. The This version, this sp specific version of the game is uh, really well tuned. Ah. Oh, son of a whore. Where's the path? Why don't I see the path? Oh, it's like right there. Duh. That sucks. That sucks, Shade. Sorry you missed it. You didn't miss much, though. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm a little disoriented right now. I'm not going to lie. Because I don't think I need to be here. Right. No, this is... I went the wrong way. Why do you do this to me? I should probably heal that. This is not going to work, dude. It's not... I... Dude, cat, you're making this really difficult. Just, dude, if you're going to be in my lap, just sit down. Please. Is that possible? should actually throw away all the stuff that's spoiled. Oh, damn it. God damn it. No, uh, 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 no, 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 cat. That's not gonna. You cannot sit on top of my computer. You stupid, stupid, f fucking heat conducting furball. That guy sounded really close. Oh, man. 
man. Dude, cat. Damn it. I thought he was already passed. God damn it. Great! Cat's in my heaven's word stand. That's cool. I'm sure he won't do any damage there. Sorry about that. Should be now. All right, that's it. You either you're sitting in your bed and going to sleep, or I'm spraying you with a spray bottle and get you the fuck out of here. God damn cat! Snake, are you there? Eva, where are you? In the fortress, in Groznygrad. Dr. Sokolov is here, too. Is he all right? He's fine. Right now he's busy putting the finishing touches on the Shagohad. Good. That means they haven't killed him. Not yet, anyway. But you better hurry. They've already finished the Phase Two tests. Once the final preparations are complete, they'll have no more use for him. The Colonel won't have any qualms about killing him if he thinks the CIA is closing in. Eva, you can't let Sokolov out of your sight. I know. Snake, do you know where Groznygrad is? Granin told me that I should be able to get there from the mountains to the north, through an underground tunnel. Granin told you? Yeah. He even gave me the key to the warehouse. Why? Because he was drunk, I guess. You've got to be kidding me. Hell if I know. Snake, there's one problem with that route. What problem? The mountain entrance to the underground tunnel that leads to the fortress is sealed. You need a key to get in. A key? What about the key Granin gave me? That key won't work. But don't worry, I'll figure something out. I have an idea. Hmm. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. Meet me there. The top of the mountains. Got it. Wait. There's something else I've got to tell you. Now what? I heard that one of the Cobras is waiting for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. He's a legendary sniper called The End. Yeah, I've seen him before. That ridiculously old guy, right? Don't underestimate him. He's known as the father of modern sniping. Is he alone? No spotter? None. He's all by himself. Apparently, he doesn't need a spotter. You can't be serious. The entire forest is on his side. The forest? You guys Stay crack alert. me up with the ladder yeah. height. I'd hate to have it be the end for me. I'd hate to have it be the end for me. I've got to imagine... I mean, I've got to imagine that... Um, if you have this game digitally, that it probably runs even better. Because I'm running it off a disc. And uh I I have I have to imagine that there's some there's some at least runtime or loading issues. Loading latency, I mean. Be nice if I could say words. Let's see if 
killing. Oh, there we go. In case I need to fid. Thought that might go somewhere. Huh? God damn it. I just totally derped out. I am sucking today, guys. Jesus. Fucking release me from first person view game, thank you. There's yeah. nothing here. I see. That is, uh, really close. Wherever that's coming from. Oh, oh, really? 
you'll release me from first person there. Uh, fine, I'll just... All clear. The hell? Dude, what the fuck? Okay, I ended up going way the wrong way. Holy shit. So how are you guys doing in the chat? Absolute zero shade. Uh Sastiri. I should have gone this way from the beginning. Ooh, oh, that was close. Yeah, that's pretty par for the course, dude. That's how I play. Xanthra did not go offline, nor am I dropping frames. <coughs> Excuse me. Hella smooth, Nathan. Hella smooth. Nobody here. How am I so fucking disoriented? Sastiri, are you one of those people who, like, expects the, like, person that they're watching to play perfectly? Or, like, be super amazing at, the, at whatever the fuck they're playing? Because, uh... That's, uh, just, just letting you know from, like, a streamer's point of view, that's super obnoxious. Not saying that, that, that that's what you are, but, like, those people who are, it's very annoying.
take of you. Grant me the strength to take this final prey. Let me linger in this world just a little longer. I have already slept enough for one lifetime. Enough for an eternity. You have my thanks. I have to thank you for waking if you hadn't shown up, my sleep would have been eternal. Do you hear me, Snake? I am the end. I am here to send you to your ultimate fate. You'll make a fine quarry for my final hunt. sniper you were talking about. That's the end. He's a legend, known as the father of sniping. I've got experience sniping in urban and marine environments. What about the forest? Never. I see. Well, that forest is divided into three areas, a river, a plateau, and a clearing. He should be lying in wait for you in one of those places. Sounds like this may take a while. It'll be a test of endurance. Be careful, though. From what I've heard, the End has an almost supernatural knack for camouflaging himself. So, whoever moves first loses. This guy's over a hundred years old, though, so I should have the advantage in terms of stamina. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Why's that? I've heard that his body is photosynthetic, like a plant. What is he, some kind of monster? On top of that, he can speak to the forest, too. So, in other words, he knows it inside out. Uh-huh. But he doesn't know you. I'm sure you can beat him. Don't worry. I intend to. Forget you can get something from holding him up, can't you? It's been a while since I've played this.
can't remember if the thermal goggles even help. That's the goat. All right, well, let's see if I can spot him at least. I always really like this fight. Even though it's pretty annoying. Ah! Goddamn goat. Go to sleep. I'd Fulton you if I could. Move on to the next map, I guess. Yes, I have played this before. Take it off your perspective, please. Jesus Christ. I'm a, I might just say fuck it and just snipe him instead of trying to stamina kill him. Yeah, I must have walked right the fuck past him. Oh, 
Da her. God damn it. You called yourself a son of the boss. Oh, this is brutal. Not having a good time today, guys. Dude, can I get something? A fucking muzzle flash? Anything? There we go. I might actually... Uh, I don't think I can get a trunk shot off from that. Yep, yeah, I'm good. Damn it. Seriously. What you, you know, I don't even know game. I'm fucking playing on tilt. Dude, this is like... I have never done this poorly on this boss fight, even the first time I played this. Can I fucking see you see him or no? Jesus Christ, it's I always try to hold this dude up. Oh. 
Really not going well for me. Fucking kidding me. This is just unreasonable how how poorly I'm doing. There we go. God damn. I've, I've honest to God, I've, I, except for maybe the first time I played this game, I don't think I've ever done that poorly. And I think you have to hold him up to get the, the Mosinagan, I think. Of the forest. I never had to say that out loud. Thank you. The boss would be proud of you. The time has come for a younger generation to rise. I've been wandering for more than a century, and now my journey comes to a close. What a splendid way to end it all. I have no regrets. I can return to the Forum Allah.
you leave your costume or do I is that what I have to hold them up for huh yeah now I get something yeah there you go okay I think you have to hold them up for his uh, uniform from Remembering correctly, I it was one. I, I knew it was one of the two. Fuck you, goat. Ow. 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 Fuck you. <laughs> Asshole. Go guys. Man, you guys get so quiet on me whenever I play.
Eat you. Ah, bullshit. God damn it. Son of a whore. God damn, dude, I am fucking really not playing well today. This really annoys me. Got you in the wiener. What you want? Uh, 
What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Well, as I wait for this clock to run out, because I got another minute. How's it going in the chat, guys? Seriously, I'm like bleeding people. I'm 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 thinking about like just hopping on 14 because fucking this can't be entertaining. This has got to be more irritating than it is entertaining. I had 45 people before I started, and now I'm down to fucking 16. Nobody wants to watch this shit. Say.
You gonna move, guy, or no? I don't know, it could just be my totally shit attitude, too. I'm sure that doesn't help anything. Who's that? What happened? Son of a bitch. God damn it. Who's that?
Dude, seriously? Dude, how does one, uh, like, auto appear? This is ridiculous. Where's the other one? Did I get all of the helicopters now? <sighs> Fuck this shit. Playing on tilt. some rest. I'll be fine. It's just that playing these two roles hasn't left me much time to sleep. Where'd you get those cuts? The Colonel. He found out? If he knew, I'd be dead already. No, this is his hobby. He's a sadist. He gets pleasure out of making people suffer. He's scum. Does it look that strange to you? No. I'm the same way. Scars all over. Can I see? No. Where'd you get this one? I got it after defecting to the Soviet Union. I don't think so. It's older than that. Code breaking is a desk job. Where'd you get this kind of scar? You really want to know? Hmm. Well, too bad. Hmm. A girl's gotta have some secrets, you know. But enough about that. You've gotta get going. The Phase 2 trial of the Shagohat is about to start. And it looks like someone might be coming to spoil the party. Khrushchev? His forces are on their way here. The Colonel is gathering his troops together to meet them. If we don't get a move on, the security will be even tighter than it is now. You'll need this key. It unlocks the door to the underground tunnel. Once you're in there, you can follow the tunnel to get inside Groznygrad. Better take these two. They should come in handy. And take this too. What is it? The food of the future. A well-balanced meal for the space age. It's good to eat some real food once in a while. I'll bet if I kissed you, you'd taste like a wild beast. Do you know where exactly in Groznygrad Sokolov is located? He's in the heart of the fortress, the weapons lab. The weapons lab is divided into three wings. There's the east wing, which houses the research facilities. Then there's the main wing where the weapons are assembled. That's where the Shagohat is. Finally, there's the west wing which is connected via a passageway to the main building.
That's where Sokolov is. To get in, you'll have to enter the main wing from the east wing. Then, go through the passageway on the second floor of the main wing. The west wing of the weapons lab. Got it. There's just one problem. Not again. The west wing is protected by the highest level of security. You need to be colonel class to get in. Colonel class? Here, look at this picture. Major Ivan Rydenovich Rykov. Pretend you're him. How do I do that? Steal his clothes. You look similar from behind, they won't know the difference. Your face might be a problem, so you just have to figure something out. He should be somewhere in the East Wing. All right. But how am I supposed to escape once I get Sokolov out of there? Command said you're supposed to have something ready for me. And I do. There's a lake 30 miles north of here. I hid a wig there. A wig? It's a state-of-the-art ground effect vehicle. A ground effect vehicle? I can't fly one of those. That's okay. I happen to be an excellent pilot. Taking off from a lake is trickier than it looks. It's not like riding a motorcycle. You've got to be more delicate. Of course I will. You've seen how good I am with the bike, right? Right. You handle the escape then. I'll head for Groznygrad. Wait a minute. There's something I wanted to ask you. What? What's the story between you and the boss? She was like a mother, and my master. And your lover? It went deeper than that. Deeper? Half of me belongs to the boss. Do you love her? No, nothing like that. Do you hate her? Does it have to be one or the other? Love or hate? Between a man and a woman? You bet. For ten years, we lived and died together. You couldn't possibly understand. And you think you can kill her now? Huh. That's your mission, isn't it? Assassinating the boss? Snake? Is there anyone you like? Someone special? I've never been interested in other people's lives. You were interested in the boss. She was different. Really? How do you feel about me? I should be asking you the same question. Me? I can fall in love if it's part of the mission. Even with you. <laughs> Snake? What's wrong? See you around, Snake. Take care of yourself. What about you? I've got to hurry back and play my other part. Are you going to be okay? Not sure. They're not stupid and they know there's a spy. 
There's no way you could have gotten this far all by yourself. before I could get it out of him. <coughs> Excuse me. He wasn't the spy then. Look at this. A transmitter? Exactly. Planted to keep someone informed of his location. Does this mean Granin was the spy? Perhaps he was being used by someone else. Perhaps. This man was our comrade. Comrade or not, he's of no use to us now. I don't approve of your methods. I don't need your approval. I'm in command here. And that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you gonna do? Report it to the authorities? This is war, Major. A Cold War, fought with information and espionage. We must root out spies wherever they hide. It is kill or be killed. Potential threats must be weeded out. Your feelings are a menace to the unity of our organization. Someone is guiding the enemy's hand. A single man can only accomplish so much. Make no mistake, there is a spy among us. But casting suspicion on our own comrades... The C-3 explosives have been stolen. You think it was the American? No. He could not have reached this fortress yet. Then... who? I'd be careful about suspecting your own men. Boss! Where have you been? The fear and the end have fallen. Damn it! <laughs> CIA dog? That leaves only the fury. How can the legendary Cobras be beaten so easily? He's good. Fallen for him? Don't worry. I'll take care of him. What is he after? Must be more than just Sokolov. America is out to destroy the Shagrahad and get its hands on your inheritance. The Philosopher's legacy. <laughs> Impossible. The legacy, it... And they're out to kill me as well. Colonel, tighten the security on this place. He's coming here, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get the Davy Crockett. Hmm? 
Yeah, just look right at me. Worst spy ever. <sighs> Excuse me. got the key from Eva. Now use it to enter the underground tunnel. The great fortress of Groznygrad is at the end of that tunnel. The door to the underground tunnel is in the summit oh, area. Right, right, right. Hurry. That's right. Oh, fuck. That's right. I forgot. Flame. We climb up, Snake. Jesus Christ. What's up, guy? What's up? You like having my nuts in your face? There's the door that I was looking for. Let's set up that TNT first. 
That's not what I wanted, but okay. Okay. Here we go, magic. I've stamina killed all the other uh, cobras, so I guess I'm gonna stamina kill the fury. I should save. You want to save? All right, now, uh, while this, while this dumb broad carries on, I'm actually going to go refill my drink. I'm just kidding. Snake, have oh you boy. heard it came from outer space? Another, yeah, you Cinema lecture away. from So Aramount. this astronomer sees a meteor, but it's really an alien spaceship, right? And the aliens start replacing the townspeople with clones and forcing them to help repair the ship. The 3D effects were quite realistic. I've got all the real I can handle here in the jungle. No, you don't get it. Precisely because it's realistic, with the images jumping out of the screen at you, it makes for a nice escape from reality. I have to admit it made my eyes tired, but it was really intense. Unfortunately, they don't make very many of those movies anymore. When did it come out? I was still in college, so probably about ten years ago? Guess I'm out of luck then. You know, they're coming out with household versions of video cassette recorders. One day you'll be able to see old movies anytime you want. It'll be like having a movie theater in your own home. Really? It's like if you had a record with movie film etched onto it instead of music. It'll work the same way. You're kidding. No, really. And someday they might make movies where you control the characters yourself. Sounds like magic. It'll happen. Make sure you stay alive to see it, Snake. Thanks, Paramount Act. Dead bats falling everywhere. I am the fury. The flames of my rage will incinerate you. I came back from space. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. And do you know what I saw then? Fury. 
fury! A great and terrible fury at being alive! Now, you're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible blackness. Wow, really? Son of a bitch! The shit. Damn it! Get away from me, you fucker! Come on, buddy. Come on, guy. Can you knife kill him? I didn't know if you. I don't know. If you could do that. Fight is sort of like a mixture of like Vulcan Raven and uh I shoot Benrick. I mean it's it, it is a, it's like a modified Vulcan Raven fight. It starts to run after you a lot faster. Am I not you? Ah, oh, fuck, I'm not using my trank gun. Son of a whore. Well, this fight just got. It's gonna be way harder now. Son of a bitch. I may have to actually restart this. Hole. Get up. Burning rage! 
I'm gonna have to restart this. I fucked myself big time. That's the word fury. Fury. Who says things like that? I know it's the mo the emotion that carries him in a battle, but like literally no one on earth talks like that. Damn it.
What was that? Running low on patience. I've got anger to spare, trust me. Ah, ah there. That's bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. Dude, I have yeah, never man. played this game so poorly in my life. Fucking aim, please. Dude, seriously, he's right fucking there. Okay. Well, seriously. God fucking damn everything. My suit! Ah, 
awesome. Thanks, game. I didn't even fucking press a button. Mother. These headphones are really misleading. I only get audio in one ear uh, when I have it plugged into my sound system, so it's like really difficult to tell where he is using audio. Fuck. Die! Mother... <laughs> 
fucker. Got you now, you son of a bitch. Ah, oh, fucker! I had you. Ah, oh, you dick! I get up. Fuck this shit! Boss! This is the end of the Copras. You've got to live on. You're the only one left. I'm off. Join the Sorrow. Mission Control, do you read me? I'm coming home. I see the earth.
What up, Skuro? Finally made it to Groznygrad, yay. work on infiltrating Grozny Grad. Damn it. Huh? I just want to go knock him out. I got greedy there. I got greedy just because I like knocking dudes out. Caution go away before I walk on the inside. I saw something. Huh? Who's that? Whoops. <laughs> well, solve that problem. Totally didn't mean to do that, but every once in a while you gotta shoot a motherfucker in the face. It's just how it goes. Whoop! Yikes! That was close. Really having a very frustrating time playing this game today. Usually I am much better at this game than this.
can't remember, does the scientist uniform get you... Like... Can you move around comfortably in that, in here? I can't remember. Kinda creepy when you said that, David Hater. Oh, I do have a mask. Okay, well, that's good. Seriously? Oh, no. I can't. It's because I'm carrying him, right? There we go. Thank you, SM McCarty. Excuse me. Yeah, the morning show was good this morning, man. Sorry you missed it, Skrro. Make sure you tune in Wednesdays at 10 o'clock here at twitch.tv slash Final Encountercast for Nate in the Morning.
thought there was more. He's doing you shit. Ah, lol. At least one important, like, semi important piece of, like, equipment that I could get out of this, but maybe I'm crazy. I'm just sitting here punching lockers, killing time. Shago hard. What are you doing? I'm gonna be back to blow you up in a little while. No, I wasn't talking about the Evo lineup. I was talking about Project Evo. You can count on me. What about the Philosopher's Legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you... Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> No one but the Colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't! Oh. from the CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me. The Shangohads. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> the final preparations for phase two are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium-range ballistic missiles. The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. 
The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohawk to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how'd you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it? In Phase 2, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. The completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass-produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes. And that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohar as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a Cold War is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohod goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohod will be at the center of it all. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow... Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. Oh, C3? You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Volkin's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh no, she is Volkin's lover. This is my lover. Stop using the word lover. Makes me uncomfortable. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. 
Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the Virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. Hmm. No. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me. Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the US? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapon scientist. Yeah, me too. To be honest with you, I'm tired. I feel you. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are oh, always God. being I did not used. get a lot of sleep last night, guys. Please, watch over my family. I was really irritated about something before I went to bed. It ended up keeping me up all night. Oh, excuse me. Now my nose is all stuffy. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana. What's up, Dread what Poetic? I find? But a greasy freebooter. in the entire game series is coming up. What is this fairy disguise? This I love that line. Disguise? It's gonna rub off on you. Nice and shot across the bow at the really uh, Raiden. Stay out of this. Uh, 
I see why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? Of course. But first, I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. <laughs> Imagine the monumental headache you would have after this. Good night. Uh, yes, actually. Pretty sure he did punch him in both kidneys, yeah. Tell me! Stop it! Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. You'd better start talking. Please, stop this! Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. Never do that. You! <laughs> I guess he's dead. <laughs> Certainly seen your share of battles. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. I am about to show you what hell is really like. <coughs> well, oh, excuse then, me. Let's get started. <coughs> what is your target? <coughs> is it the Shagohad? <coughs> or Sokolov? <coughs> or maybe it's the Legacy? Answer me! Who is helping you? 
Who let you in here? You're a tough one, but even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. Here's where the fun really begins. My body carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. Now answer me. How much does the CIA know? They're after my legacy, aren't they? Your real target is the Philosopher's legacy, isn't it? yourself go. That's what I want to see. It's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. <clears throat> Admit it! We're after the location of the Legacy! The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? One hundred billion dollars! Divided up and hidden all over the world! And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No matter. The Philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. You'll never let What's this? A transmitter? Who's responsible for this? I am. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was gonna be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. It pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances... I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that. But he is your apprentice. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it! Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras!
is it, Tanya? He's suffered enough. Well, no, the word well. lovers makes me uncomfortable. Why are because you protecting him? That's like the terminology that a dude with like a pencil thin mustache. That smell. You know what I mean? Like, like a guy who talks like Jace. Tatiana. Jace, You're you the are. Spy. You are a very sensual what are you woman. About? That's the kind of guy that uses the term lovers when he means I someone that, that he smell. is fucking. Stop it! Taking a fancy to her, eh, Ocelot? No. I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. Here we go. There, satisfied now. Well, that was refreshing. <laughs> Hooray for phone call. Come, we're going to my room. So you survived the Colonel's torture, eh? And that's how Big Boss loses his eye. Watching this has made me realize something. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> You got lucky this time, Tatiana. I wish I had a way of playing uh, portable ops on stream. I actually rather like that game. Because I'm going to have to go straight to Peace Walker next. You'll find an open manhole there. You're... Quiet! Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Eva... But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. I'll be in touch. Uh, yes, portable ops is considered canon.
let's see here. I forget what the clever way to get out of this is. I mean, I know the easy way is to just call the number. Fuck it. Just do it the easy way. Forget. How do I get the? How do I get the empty revolver? Where's that? Yeah. The single action army should be somewhere around here. Not under the bed, I don't think. Or no, oh that's right, they put it in your backpack. Or wait, no! What the hell? Do I have it on me? Yes! Okay, I have it on me. That would have helped me knock that guy out. Or whatever. Uh. I wonder if you can hold people up with this. I've never tried. I have to get to the open sewer grate on the other- wait. Is it on this side? My escape route is on the other side. Fuck, which one is it? I can't remember. Will the map tell me? Map should tell me. Tell me, map. Fucking A! It's on the other side. Shit. Well, glad I checked. Yo! No! Bad! I'm just gonna go ahead and sneak past that motherfucker right there. Mm. 
Whoa. Nope, 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 nope. Huh? All of my nopes. That dog is a problem. Generally, when I experience dogs, when I find dogs... Oh, Christ, it's awake now. Uh, I trank it and knock it out. It's not an option here. I'm very vulnerable. No, 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 no. Damn it. Damn it! Eva, yeah, I just got down here. Mm. I'm coming to meet you now. The door at the north end is open, right? Uh, Snake? Let me guess. There's a problem. I have no yeah. bullets, Taser. What is it this time? The Colonel found out you escaped. He did, huh? I figured as much. Yeah, and now all of Grozny Grad is on red alert. Just my luck. But once I'm out of the fortress... You can't get out. I can't. When the fortress went on red alert, they sealed off the sewers. You've got to be kidding me. I'm serious. And that means the escape route I laid out is... Is sealed off, too. Right. And they just sent a unit out looking for you. Down here? Uh-huh. They'll be there any minute now. You've got to get out quick. But isn't the exit sealed off? You should be able to get out by heading straight north. Book it, Snake. If they find you, you're dead. Seriously, my performance today has been almost embarrassing. Yeah, just, okay, go through the tunnel backwards. Good idea.
I always trust ramen that I find in the sewers. Well, at least in this game, they admit that the uh, rations are fucking terrible. They give you, they recover like no stamina. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot. Like I've that. been waiting for this. Basically, it's the future. Nobody interfere. They just stole that moment. This is where it ends. Hey, what's up, Krusty Krad? How's it going? Oh, I'm actually gonna have to pay attention. I I killed people. I forgot about that. Uh, that was some inter interesting screen tearing in that scene. Uh, no. Generally, when I play through this, I do a no kill, but no, I've now killed you know the several people. Of those whose lives you have ended.
I haven't killed that many people, so... All the pilot guys. I don't remember. That was one guy that I stabbed by accident at, at the front of that line, right there. Just like walked up to him, and I was like, "Up! Uh, I'm gonna just stab you in the gut." Darko. Whoa! Okay, why did that guy sprint at me? That was fucking weird. He's gonna shoot more Donnie Darko liquid. Aha! Miss me! The V! I fear. Serpentine method. Oh, this is just dead fish. Sounds like Mr. Burns. Yeah. Looked like the Sara was gonna take a poop there for a second. He's in fetal position. That's creepy. Ah, this me, sucker. Come on. The fury. So far, this has been a leisurely stroll down a river. Oh. Ah! Got all the way to the skeleton.
No, she didn't have to, but she chose to. Snake, are you alright? That was a close call. What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side? So that really was... Something Major. on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with... Well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigin? Yo! I finished checking up on this Sorrow guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Selino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. Dum dum dum. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Selino Yarsk. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time they were enemies. And then what? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for yeah. him to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you alright? Yeah. I took a pretty freaky detour. What are you talking about? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. Yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean, that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right. It's behind weird. That I've noticed that the only thing that this we'll game seems to have trouble loading is the like behind the those extra upstream. little cinematics in uh, See you there. in the right. Kodak conversations. Uh, can I hit these? I forget. Come on. Okay. I'll do that. Nope, I guess not. Fuck, and I don't have that. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. This is horrible. All right. Um. How do you get the uh, the sorrow camo? So I thought it would be right here. Why the fuck I say things out loud sometimes?
Hey, what's up, Ninja Fox? No kills? Okay. Oh, well. I know I have it on another playthrough. I just couldn't remember. so bad that you don't have fucking Let's see if I can kill a snake with a fork. I can. Oh, I just eat it. Oh, nice. That's kind of cool. I'm forgetting all my Easter eggs, so I'm just like fucking around on maps I don't really need. Oh, okay. Alright, fair enough. Thanks, Crab. your equipment. Eva, you could use a towel. So could you. Yeah, I removed the transmitter. That is a funny scene, though. Not for dinner. Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian, that kind of thing. A regular Matahari. The least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. 
can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? Not so subtle. I wouldn't mind eating you. When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly, it's made from raw fish. See, the, you know, this is what I'm uh, uh, what I was saying during the show. The place for my is that techniques. you know, like for all of the <laughs> shit that uh, Kojima took for uh, Quiet and uh, and her design. I mean. Christ, this is, uh, pretty well documented that that's been his M.O. for a while. Thank you, Snake. Like, how is, how is, uh, Quiet significantly worse than, uh, what Eva's wearing right now? Look on his face is like, oh god, she has not brushed her teeth since Volgan. This is really gross. Don't worry about it. Are you alright? It's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. Really? Good. Haha, -ha, blowjob jokes. I get it. Eva, didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape like I that. find it highly purposeful. This much, you could blow up the That's what he was kinda going for, I think. It. Is that right? Yeah. But there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? The Shagohod's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab, in the hangar housing the Shagohod itself. So I should blow up the tanks? That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists had the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted? Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. So what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? 20 minutes. Once the phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised yeah, if you but when you have the scientists to prevent Vulgan them from dick on your You've breath, like... Fast. I'll take care of it. I'm sure that can't be pleasant. Eva... Did you get the data on the Shagohod from Sokolov? Yeah. That's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm-hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission, either. Helping you out. Yeah, okay, Malfested, then go ahead and justify the Beauty and the Beast here. unit in we MGS4. Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. Kojima's infamous for the eye candy shit, dude. Do you remember when you went to rescue Sokolov? Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohod's hangar.
Use this key to open that door. The door right when I entered the main wing? Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Uh, Besides you, of course. I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. It's not easy always fooling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Huh. Okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh. Oh, this? It's a button camera. What did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double-cross me. Yeah, no, you're right. And then Kojima does, uh, you know, he turns around and takes all of those, uh, you know, well-rounded female characters. And uh, what does he do with them? In uh, VR missions, you can uh, have bikini photo shoots with them. I'm just saying, there's like a long-standing history. People should not have been as shocked as they were. Uh, people just want shit to be outraged about. Excuse me.
No. What makes you think that? No one's here. Shut up. Yeah, there we go. I forget whose camo I forgot to pick up. But I literally just, like, walked right fucking past it, because I'm an idiot. Because I'm stupid. I must be seeing things. Yeah, that's right, you're seeing things. Looking under the tank, motherfucker. Nope. No one's here. I have to make it to the other side, don't I? Why am I going this way? Yep. Or no, I have to make it inside to the hangar. I don't think I can get in that door over there, can I? Okay, that dog is going to wake up soon. What the what? No, you didn't. I think I saw some. You just shot right the fuck up. Yep, you sure are. Take it, take it easy, SM McCarty. Thanks for dropping by the stream today. Appreciate you hanging out. Okay, I can still. Fuck this up. Who's really? That? Really, really? Seriously? Help me. Really?
a good hiding spot, right? God, I need to stop playing so cavalierly. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I need to... I mean, fuck it. Doing this. Just do it. Scientists that fuck me every time. Although that one, that one was totally on me. That one was my fault. Cause I'm a dumb asshole. I'm not right. I think I can drag these guys through. Yeah. Huh, huh, that's what I'm here. Scorpion. One? Oh, damn it. Ooh. There you go. That's how you solve that. You just knock everyone the fuck out. Yay, sneaking uniform. Snake, I see you've managed to sneak into the hangar. Yeah, the Shagahod's in here. The completed Phase II Shagahod represents a grave threat to the West. We can't allow it to be mass-produced. You've got to destroy it. Eva's got the data on the Shagahod. Do you think that's safe? Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's safe, but Khrushchev is a shrewd leader. I can't imagine he'd use it for anything other than deterrence. Volgin, however, is a different story. He's planning to use the Shagahod to turn the Cold War into a blazing hot one. We can't let him have it. Agreed. That leaves just one more mission for you to carry out. The boss. Exactly. Uh. For now, just focus on destroying the Shagahod. Yes, sir. I'll let Sigint fill you in Yo. on how to destroy it. Yo! Like Eva was saying, if you're looking to blow the whole place sky high, the best way is to take out those liquid fuel tanks with the C3. You know there's four tanks in there, right? You have to put C3 on all four of them. To plan a C3 charge, all you gotta do is equip the C3 and press the weapon button while standing in front of a tank. Just like TNT. But, uh, make sure you don't plant it in the wrong place. You barely got enough C3 as it is, right? Good point. I'll make sure not to plant it anywhere else. Good, man. And be careful. Liquid fuel has a nasty habit of going off at the slightest shock. So don't go using any heavy firepower near the tanks unless you're aiming to get yourself barbecued. I'll keep that in mind. 
The C3 charges all have to go off at once if you want to bring down the hangar in one fell swoop. So if I were you, I'd wait until after you plant the last charge to start the timer mechanism. All right. I'll make sure I finish planting all four charges before I start the timer. Once the timer's set, you've got 20 minutes until it explodes, right? So make sure you get your ass out of that place by then. I think that's about all I've got. The rest is up to you. Good luck, pal. We're counting on you, Snake. Okay, we're gonna need some, some better camouflage reading. Really? Olive Drab is gonna give me the highest? Oh, it's Spider. Duh. I don't think I have a ton of food, do I? No, I really don't. Okay, so, and I also need to cure. Um, advantage. your face. Finish planting the bomb on the rail bridge. If we get rid of the bridge, the enemy won't be able to follow us. Getting actually pretty close to the end here. Time. I've also set up the escape route. How are things going on your end? I just finished planting the second charge. Give me a little more time. Okay. I'll be waiting for you at the bridge.
Got you this time. Major, I finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. All right, then. We'll hurry up and get out of there. Snake! Why'd you come back? This woman was found snooping around my underground vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. <laughs> the philosopher's dun, 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 legacy. Dun, dun. This all microfilm right, he's gonna contains all the so information go regarding the legacy. You might say that this film itself is the philosopher's legacy. It was the smell that gave her away. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. We found this radio along with her too. Such a fine woman she was. It almost pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little Damn. pet. Isn't that right? <laughs> what was that? Do you have something to say to me? Go to hell! <laughs> you dirty whore. I've had enough. Kisses from you. I should have known. Sokolov wasn't man enough to have a lover like that. Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful, yet so deadly. What is the philosopher's legacy? Very well. Like a Bond villain. I'll explain it before I kill you.
During the last Great War, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. The pact was a That's how much time is remaining the on the bombs. That's the sorrow. World order. To secure victory in the war, the three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects. Enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the philosopher's legacy. After the war was won, the three countries were to divide the philosopher's legacy amongst themselves. This explains why the United States and the Soviet Union were able to steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. But our great motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rivals. We possess enormous wealth, the most advanced technology, and overwhelming power, assets fitting of our great country. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the philosopher's legacy. In the confusion that ensued after the war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. The money was divided up and laundered through banks all over the world. Switzerland, Australia, and Hong Kong. This microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. After my father's death, I learned of this secret. I obtained the microfilm. Excuse me. With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Groznygrad and Granin's research facility. But that worthless fool Granin failed to produce results. I was forced to turn to Khrushchev's dog Sokolov and his invention, the Shagohod. My position in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. But the spy network established by the secret pact still existed. I used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. The boss was conniving enough to see things my way. The world was once won, but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. To do this, we need strength, an unstoppable trump card with enough power to bring order to the world. That trump card was to be the Shago Hod and the Cobra Union. I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shagohod and the Legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Boss, take this someplace safe. Take good care of it. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C3 has <clears throat> been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well. Everything to me. Fight like a warrior, Volgan. But of course.
there's a lot of like subtle like subtle body language Let me face him. that I think came off as awkward in the PS2 version but like really Time is to get even. well expressed here in the in the HD up convert ah uh, ah uh, uh. no more judo and no more field strips Enough of this! He's mine! You will stand right there and watch, got it? Please, Colonel, let me- Silence! Sorry for the delay. Let's get started, shall we? This is a once-in-a-lifetime battle. Let's make it a yeah, good yeah. one. It does have some frame rate issues. Like some of these cutscenes have some pretty, pretty raw frame rate. It's just you and me now. And I'm gonna enjoy this. Snake! Shock spikes, bro. There you go. There you go. Ouch. My face. Ow.
What is that? Broken bone. Fuck. Eat something too. Ugh. Ouch, fucker. Nope. Oh, 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 oh. Look out! Fire! Ah, fuck. Almost. One. That's it. Can I get more than one shot off on first time? Come on. There you go. Is that right? I didn't know that, Malfasted. That's funny. Shoot him! Do you hear me? I said shoot him! Hoping I can uh, finish this up before 7 o'clock. Sorry, Colonel. I'm afraid I can't I do really that. I really need to get some food. What do you mean you can't? I made a promise to the boss. Silence! I am your commanding officer. Are you questioning my authority? Fight like a man, Volgin. Volgin? Emergency. Explosives have been detected. All non-EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Ocelot! Find those bombs! Repeat. Explosives have been detected. All non-EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Move it! Huh. Yeah, let's Ready go. Ready for some more snake? Time to die! Ha! Get rid of your fucking...
Frank Cunt. you to fight her but I I've come to realize that there's a special relationship between you two something I can't understand something that goes beyond a man and a woman I envy you really I do but I guess I just can't understand it she asked me to tell you something never seen someone with such clear eyes. There. I said it. Ready to go? Yeah.
Yeah, no, this was like one of the most impressive action sequences at the time. This whole sequence was like... I mean, again, this was done on PS2, so this was just a masterful sequence. I can't shake him. The RPG can't put a dent in that armor. Let's head for the rail bridge. Bridge? I thought you bring him to see three. I did. We'll lure him onto the bridge. Blow him up along with it. Good plan. The bridge is on the other side of the runway. We'll have to cut through the middle of the base. You ready? Step on it. If it catches up to us, we're done for. <laughs> Here we go! Sequences are annoying as fuck to try to do with the Trank.
actually super hard to aim on. There's absolutely no targeting reticle.
I planted one seed recharge. Uh, why would you be? Ooh, boy. Eva, you take care of the driving. Yeah? Yeah, I trust you. On one Keep condition, that tits out. leave the fighting to me. You got it. I was getting tired of running away anyway. Eva, let's do it. For luck. Drive safe, Xanther.
Yeah, right. Vulcan may as well be on a heavy flight. Did we beat him? No. Seriously, it just ran me over. God damn it. You stupid idiot. I expect better out of you. Um...
that. Really? That's the name of the name of the trophy for that one was Shagadelic. And that hurts. Snake! <laughs> Who's afraid of a little thunder? Time for this now. The escape craft is just up ahead. Let's get going.
avoiding my bullets! This is my least favorite part of the game, where you have to drag Eva around. Looks like they finally gave up. Don't start celebrating yet. We're leaking fuel. Damn it. Tank shot up. Crap. Get away from here, Eva. 
Let's go. Leave me. Eva! The <coughs> boss is waiting for you. You have to go. Give me a gun. No, we're getting out of here. If we're still far away from the lake, I'll never make it. I can't believe this. Uh-huh. I never thought I'd see you act this week. What do you mean? Listen to me, Eva. We're doing this together. No, you... Eva! I need you. Say that one more time. I need you. I can't fly the wig by myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. All right then. I guess I'd better help you out. <laughs> <laughs> Right through the kidney. You're lucky to have me. No. Snake, can you hear me? Paramedic. Thank God. Eva's been seriously hurt. So have you. Luckily, I think her organs are all intact, but... Calm down, Snake. Calm down? You'll both be fine as long as you get the proper emergency treatment. But you're the only one who can do this. Understand? So you've got to calm down. Right. Okay. Okay. Now let's open up the survival viewer and treat the injury. Do you have supplies with you? I'm running kind of short. Then by switching the survival viewer over to Eva, you can treat her wounds too. Now get to work. Oh, and Snake, I'm pretty sure you know this already. But if you don't have enough supplies for the both of you, your wounds come first. Huh? Do you get my meaning, Snake? <sighs> You've still got a mission to complete. Right, yeah. Yeah. I know what I have to like do. Like this. Snake? Like this. I think so. <sighs> Here. It's different from the Mauser. When you're using a two-hand grip, you have to be careful where you put your hands or your fingers will get burned by the exhaust gas from the cylinder gap. Man. 
Metal Gear. Come on, what the fuck? Let's go, lady. God damn it, I'm so fucking hungry. All I want to do is finish this game. By the way, after I uh, wrap up Metal Gear Solid 3 here, Chris is going to be uh, playing through some Undertale. So, if you're an Undertale fan, stick around. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. That's right. She just eats up all my goddamn food. I gotta be next to her. Feed her. Is somebody there? Not that you know. I'm so hungry. Oh. Hurry up. This tastes like crap. Oh, yuck. Somebody there? Huh? The enemy is close. Damn it, the fucking See? hell. Come on. Something there. Fine, just move. I've so had it <laughs> at this point. I'm just like fucking ready. To oh, god damn it.
Come on. Oh, shut up. My legs won't move anymore. Are you serious? <clears throat> Can I have seconds? <sighs> I'm okay now. Come on. What up, the Monkey 19? How's it going? Come on, Snake. Over there. Hmm. 
It's the boss, isn't it? I'll go get the wig ready to take off. Right. I'll leave you two alone. But come back in one piece, okay? Ooh. That was Promise bad. me. That was bad texture. Yeah, now she can run. Great. Life's end. Isn't it beautiful? It's almost tragic. When life ends, it gives off a final lingering aroma. Light is but a farewell gift from the darkness to those on their way to die. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Waiting for your birth, your growth, and the finality of today. Boss. Why are you doing this? Why? To make the world one again. The world used to be whole. But with the end of the Second World War, the philosophers began to fight amongst themselves, and the world was torn apart. The Cobras, my comrades, who trained and fought alongside me, were torn apart as well. The foibles of politics and the march of time can turn friends into enemies just as easily as the wind changes. Ridiculous, isn't it? Yesterday's ally becomes today's opposition. And this Cold War? Think back. When I was leading the Cobras, America and Russia were fighting together. Now, consider whether America and Russia will still be enemies in the 21st century. Somehow, I doubt it. Enemies change along with the times, the flow of the ages, and we soldiers are forced to play along. I didn't raise you and shape you into the man you are today, just so we could face each other in battle. A soldier's skills aren't meant to be used to hurt friends. So then what is an enemy? Is there such a thing as an absolute timeless enemy? There is no such thing, and never has been. Uh, and the, the monkey Chris is playing Undertale. I'm not playing Undertale. Us. And yes, he is doing a genocide They can run. only be our enemies in relative terms. The world must be made whole again. The philosophers must be reunited. I will devote my skills to that purpose. And with the Colonel's money, I will achieve that end. Just as I once created the Cobras. They are my family. I may no longer be able to bear children, but I still have a family. It was November 1st, 1951. I was in the Nevada desert, participating in atomic testing. The name Nevada is derived from Spanish, covered in snow, white as snow. And snow is exactly what I saw in that Nevada desert. It froze my blood white. Snake. You were an atomic test subject, weren't you? On Bikini Atoll. That's part of the reason I was drawn to you. You and I are alike. We're both slowly being eaten away by the karma of others. We'll never have the chance to die peacefully of old age. We have no tomorrow. But we can still have hope for the future. In 1960, I saw a vision of the ideal future, from space. 
Three years earlier, the Soviet Union had succeeded in launching Sputnik, the first man-made satellite in history, into orbit. This came as a huge shock to the United States. In response, America threw everything it had into its own manned spaceflight project, the Mercury program. Even as the Soviets seemed poised to send their first man into space, America was still experimenting with chimpanzees and rockets. The government wanted human data. So they secretly decided to send a human being into space. I was the one they chose. At the time, they didn't have the technology to block out cosmic rays, and whoever they sent up would inevitably be exposed to heavy radiation. That's why they Yeah, I me. might, monkey. I don't After know. After all, I'd already I haven't been decided yet. Once. I mean, I have it. Of course, Kooky you won't bought find it for me, um, but I haven't played it yet. I could see the planet as it appeared from space. That's when it finally hit me. Space exploration is nothing but another game in the power struggle between the U.S. and the USSR. Politics, economics, the arms race, they're all just arenas for meaningless competition. I'm sure you can see that, but the Earth itself has no boundaries. No East, no West, no Cold War. And the irony of it is, the United States and the Soviet Union are spending billions on their space programs and the missile race, only to arrive at the same conclusion. In the 21st century, everyone will be able to see that we are all just inhabitants of a little celestial body called Earth. A world without communism or capitalism, that is the world I wanted to see. I've tried but to play Mass Effect before. I'm, I, it, I don't know. I was not that into it. In 1961, I was sent to Cuba, to Bahia de Cochinos. It was part of a CIA-sponsored invasion under the guise of taking Cuban exiles back to their country. But the U.S. government betrayed them. Our weak-kneed president held back their air support. Defenseless, the exiles were annihilated by the Cuban army. All I could do was watch in silence. I was set up by the very country I'd sacrificed so much for. By the very government I dedicated my life to defending. I was driven from the surface world, and I went underground. Then, two years ago, I faced the sorrow, my old comrade in battle. He was my friend. But one of us had to die. I was left with no choice. The sorrow gave his life for me. There is no enmity between us. One must live, and one must die. That was the mission. The ones who gave me that mission were the philosophers. Early in the 20th century, the true holders of power in the United States, the Republic of China, and the newly formed Soviet Union, gathered together in a secret meeting that would later be known as the Wiseman's Committee. The secret pact they formed there marked the beginning of the philosophers. But the last of the original members died in the 1930s. After that, the organization began to run out of control, and the Wiseman's Committee degenerated into a mere shell of its former self. The philosophers of today have no sense of good or evil. Their influence extends to countries and organizations involved in every aspect of every war. They have become war itself. That's how they operate. The sacrifices of war cause a shift in the times. This shift leads to renewed conflict and in turn triggers the next war. Like a nuclear chain reaction, each conflict sparks countless others, forming an endless spiral that will continue on for eternity. Do you understand what I'm saying, Snake? By consuming me and you, the philosophers intend to keep that cycle going forever. It was my father who explained all of this to me. 
He was one of them. You see, I am the last remaining child of the philosophers. But after he revealed the truth, my father was killed by that same shapeless, formless organization. And my father isn't the only thing the philosophers have taken from me. In June of 1944, the Cobras and I took part in the landing at Normandy. We'd been given a top-secret mission to locate and destroy enemy V-2 rocket installations. I was pregnant at the time. The sorrow was the father. I gave birth on the field of battle. A beautiful baby boy. But my child was snatched away from me by the philosophers. Look at this scar. This is proof that I was once a mother. I gave up my body and my child for my country. There is nothing left inside me now. Nothing at all. No hatred, not even regret. And yet sometimes at night, I can still feel the pain creeping up inside me, slithering through my body like a snake. I've never talked this much about myself before. Thanks. Thanks for listening to me. I feel content. Snake. Commence the operation. I raised you. I loved you. I've given you weapons, taught you techniques, endowed you with knowledge. There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life, by your own hand. One must die, and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will carry on the fight. It is our destiny. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. And the one who inherits the title of boss will face an existence of endless battle. I'll give you 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, Migs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. If you can beat me in less than 10 minutes, you'll be able to escape in time. Let's make this the greatest 10 minutes of our lives, Jack. Boss! You're a soldier. Finish your mission. Prove your loyalty. Face me. Let's see what you're made of. Uh. Uh. Excellent, Jack. Is 
Move or you're dead. You're better than I remember. go metal gear solid 3 y'all enjoy the end of this game i do believe chris is going to be coming up next with undertale i'm gonna let you guys enjoy this thanks for hanging out with me this has been a lot of fun screen that bit. There we go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. This has been a lot of fun. Next week on Wednesday, I'll start into Peace Walker on the stream after wrapping up Nate in the Morning. Remember, Nate in the Morning starts at 10 a.m. on Wednesdays. Enjoy the end of Metal Gear Solid 3. If you've enjoyed watching, hit that follow button. Thanks, guys. Wonderful man. Kill me. Kill me now. Do it. There's only room for one boss and one snake.
ready to go, Snake? Are you okay? Snake? you could trust me. Picked up a few new moves. Huh. It doesn't feel right to shoot an unarmed man. But I'll get over it. Eva! What do you say to one last showdown? Yeah, all right.
What's your name? Snake. No. Not that name. You're not a snake, and I'm not an ocelot. We're men with names. My name is Adamska. What's yours? John. Very well, John. Plain name. But I won't forget it. Come on! <laughs> it's a blank. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Till we meet again, John. Control. Stand by for a direct order from the chairman. 
Volk 19, return to base immediately. Do you read me? This is a direct order from Comrade Khrushchev. Return to base immediately. Volk 19, do you copy? Understood. Aborting mission. RTB. Look! The MiGs are turning back! Well done, Snake. The MiG's disengaged. Most likely under orders from Khrushchev. Is this his way of helping us? Who knows? Maybe he didn't want things to get messier than they already are. Or maybe he just wanted us to owe him one. The important thing is, you made it out alive. As long as Khrushchev is with us, I don't think they'll be coming after you. It should be smooth sailing all the way to Alaska. I'm sending someone out to Galena Base to meet you. To meet me? The DCI and the President himself are waiting at Langley. Don't keep them waiting. So what are you going to do now? Go back to the KGB? What do you want me to do? Do you ever think about coming back to America? I can't go back. I've left America behind me. But you saved this country. I didn't do it alone. And I still owe you a dinner. Is that part of your mission, too? Or is it an order? Or is it an invitation? Hmm. Or a proposal? I don't take orders from anyone now.
Scholars tell us that the first spy in history was the snake in the book of Genesis. In that story, it was Eve who was tempted by the snake in the Garden of Eden. But this time around, it was I who tempted the snake and got away with the forbidden fruit of knowledge. Forgive me, snake. I wasn't sent by Khrushchev. I'm not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. I'm an agent of the People's Republic of China for the General HQ 2nd Department of the People's Liberation Army. It was all a lie. I tricked you. And I'm sorry. The philosophers still exist in China, too. You see, my mission was to find out where Volgan was hiding the philosopher's legacy and steal it. So I infiltrated his base as a KGB spy. The two NSA codebreakers who defected in 1960 were actually both men. The real Adam never showed up at the meeting place saving me the trouble of having to eliminate him. I sneaked in by pretending I was Eva. And you and Sokolov and Volgan, you all believed me. The philosopher's legacy was originally held in common between the US, Soviet Union, and China. We couldn't let the Russians and the Americans take it all for themselves. The Chinese government had its eye on the legacy too. I got the film containing the legacy, and also the nuclear missile launch data from the Shagohad. Five years ago, the Soviet Union stopped supplying us with nuclear weapons technology. Since then, China's Liandan easing hydrogen bomb and space rocket projects have fallen behind. But with this data, our country will be able to develop its own nukes. We'll create a deterrent force to rival those of the US and Soviet Union. Everything has gone according to plan thanks to your help. I too am one of the philosophers. I'm an agent of the philosophers, a graduate of one of their charm schools. I was raised in a joint U.S.-Soviet-Chinese facility to become a sleeper agent. This was before the war. Back then, they were collecting children from all over the world. As a result, I'm indistinguishable from a native-born American. So it didn't surprise me when you and Volgan couldn't tell the difference. But she knew right from the beginning. She knew because before the war, she was at one of the philosopher's schools too, as an instructor. The boss was the only one I couldn't fool. She was the only one who knew I was a fake. She told me everything. Why did she open her heart to me like that? At the time, I couldn't understand it. But now, I think I do. Snake, she wanted you to know the truth. She chose me to tell you. That's why she saved my life. I've lied to you so many times, but not this time. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy and to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. In other words, I'm supposed to kill you. But I 
can't do it. Not because we loved each other. And not because you saved my life. But because I made a promise to the boss. And I intend to keep it. I just wanted you to know. And you have to live. Snake, listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No. Far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Self-sacrifice. Because that was her duty. Above even the boss. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. You are a true patriot. the qualities of a soldier and an agent. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the U.S. government. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy. And the boss was the star of the show. They planned it so that they could get the legacy that Colonel Volgan inherited and destroy the Shagohat at the same time. Only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Volgan's trust. Finding out where the Philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going according to plan. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. And that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it. Not ever. This, they concluded, would be the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given. And she had no choice but to carry it out. Her death in your hands was a duty she had to fulfill. 
out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. A lesser woman would have been crushed by such a burden. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. In America as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. And no one will ever understand her. That was her final mission. And like a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. But I think she wanted you, of all people, to know the truth. She wanted to live on in your memory. Not as a soldier, but as a woman. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me. Snake. <laughs> History will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. Alright guys, thank you so much. That is going to be it for MGS3. I'm not going to bother giving you guys the post credit sequence. Uh, if you care that much, you can go look it up because Kalo, or I'm sorry, Juxta is waiting in the wings uh, to stream Undertale. So uh, he is coming up next here on, uh, on Final Encounter Cast. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I will see you next Wednesday. I may pop over to uh, the LBR side of things and uh, stream some FF14 later, but I need some food. I, I honestly, I, I, I'm stuck. Um, so, have a good night, guys. Enjoy Undertale with Juxta. I've got something in my throat.